Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today I'm going to be walking you guys through some gameplay of the BMW M3 GTR from Need for Speed Most Wanted in Need for Speed Heat. Now this is the reward for finishing the career and don't worry I will have footage of those career missions coming very soon but I can't wait to share this thing with you guys. What do you say we go hunting around the city to see what new races these league privileges get us? It sounds just like it did in most 105. Listen. Oh my god, it's a total like grip car too. Like you can drift it a little bit, but it is definitely a grip car. Wow. It's got that shift sound, too. God, it sounds exactly like the M3 GTR for most one it did. I just, oh my god, it sounds like they literally went back and literally, like, just completely redid the same car. And that, that's the best way they could have honored it. That's the best way they could have honored this car. 100%. 100%. That's the best way they could have honored this car. I love it. Apparently there's a flamingo in here. Oh, there it is. Your idea. Here we go. Oh, God. At least I feel like it'd be a cool picture idea. All right, let's see. The most wanted M3 GTR around like a bunch of just like crushed cars. For some reason, it seems fitting because it's like this was a this was the survivor. You know what I mean? Like this was the survivor, and it's still here. Oh my God! Is that a red Sparco circuit? Look at the detail in the interior. Holy crap! Actually, that's a lot of freaking detail, man. That's a lot of detail. All oh, the detail on the original BBS wheels with the center locks. God, this thing, the tow hooks, the little um, fasteners for the trunk lid. It, it, oh my God, the side pipes. Everything is there. Everything is correct and everything is right. It's, everything is just so right with this car. That's basically like Forza level detail. Yeah, somebody in the chat just said that that's Forza level detail, and it basically is. It basically is. And like, I know, like, sometimes people are like, oh, but I don't know about it. It's Need for Speed. Dude, this Need for Speed is not the same as any of the other recent Need for Speeds. This is more like the Need for Speeds of of old. I mean, like, this is this is the type of Need for Speed game that we all fell in love with, you know what I mean? I know it's the type of Need for Speed game that I fell in love with, that's for sure. If this game had come out back when I first started playing, I mean, like, obviously it would have had different graphics, but it it's the same, it's got the same charm, and it's got the same, like, it's got the same level of just, like, everything is just so well dialed in, and so cool. So cool. And signs still get destroyed like like an old Need for Speed. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade this bad boy a little bit, and then we are gonna go ahead and jump into a race. We might as well, right? I mean, we got a bunch of money right now. We might as well use this thing and jump into a race, get a little bit more money, and then I mean, it, it really does bring back all the memories, Lord Fat Man. It really, really does. It really, really broken. does. There's a kettle if you want. Super Plus Crank. I don't know how much money I'm gonna be able to dump into this thing, but we'll see. Two forty-eight, two fifty-five, two fifty-eight. Oh, I see. Super turbo, super twin turbo. Okay. Two fifty-eight there for the turbo. Super plus cooling and super plus header. And then I just want to make sure we have 
Oh, wait. Oh, showcase suspension, track suspension. We do an on road suspension. We'll go ahead and equip that because we already have one, which helps a bunch. Track tires. How about the pro track tires? Equip. And one six pound tank. I mean, that's fine. Uh, that's like twenty grand. This one's free. So we'll do, we'll do the like the free one right now, and then if we want to go back later and mess with it, we can. Um, super plus brakes. And I'm thinking we should be good. I mean, aside from like putting a diff in it, um, I think I own a few of uh showcase diff. Track diff. I want to put a track diff in it. Like the track diff is gonna really help, and it's gonna bring out the, the the character of this car. So and super plus clutch, and now we're gonna go race it. I mean, cause uh, like now it'll be very very competitive in the grand scheme of most of the races on the map. There are some races like the high heat night races that it really won't be able to compete in, but we don't really need to compete in those right now. So. It's definitely going to be it's definitely going to be something that we can go around the map with and complete most objectives. Not all, but most. Um, I'm definitely going to say most. So, let's see. Uh, brings back memories of most wanted. Yeah, man, it does for me too. It brings back all the memories of most wanted for me. Hearing that sound with like the blow off uh, of a turbo is just like it's just nuts. All right, let's find something that we haven't done yet. Like this. There we go. Oh, it's it's a maniac now. Like, it is so quick. It's so quick now. And it'll drift a little bit, but not like, it's definitely not a drift car, quote unquote. You know what I mean? All right, time trial. Ready, and we'll get started. I didn't even check the recommendations. I mean, we're over uh, like a 300 like performance level, so I assume that that's enough. It should be enough. It really honestly should be enough. All right, a 269, oh yeah, we'll be fine. All right, ready, and go! Hard left. Well, maybe not as hard as I thought. All right. Well, stick with it anyway. Things sound so mean. It definitely doesn't like the dirt. I wonder if maybe this setup wasn't the best for these time trials. Maybe we should have done a more like speed cross-ish setup. Oh, 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 that was weird. It works, but it's weird. Tricky. Oh god. Oh. I was worried because I saw that U-turn coming and I thought I was gonna overshoot the jump. I thought I was gonna way overshoot the jump actually. There you go. What what? What? All I did was touch the side. Why did you respawn me, game? What the heck? What was the point of that? Literally no purpose in that. Okay, all right. Well, games do weird things sometimes. Let's go. Let's keep it going. I don't know if this was a great spot to use the nitrous, but you know what? I'll take it. Airtime. Airtime's fine, you know? Don't have to worry about it. All right. Launch it. Oh, and there's the line. Uh, and we have two laps. So now at least I know what kind of corner that first corner is. So we can go ahead and just, like, go right into it. Oh. While we almost, that almost got really sketch. Just remember not to touch the side of those tubes. They like, they get really, really, uh, the game doesn't like it when you do it. There you go, make it over the barriers. Go, 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 go. Now just stay in it all the way. No, 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 no. Okay, so you do have to slow down a little bit. You will overshoot if you go into that full out. You will overshoot if you go into a full out. 
He's one and a half miles behind. That's just sad. Save the inside. There you go. If you touch the outside, though, you apparently will reset. And you'll spawn down in, like, the little, uh, like, little, the little exit of the stadium, which is super annoying, might I add. There we go. That's where, probably where I should have... What the heck? Threw me off. Like, it literally, like, threw me off of the path that I was on. It, like, dug in and threw me off. Oh, well. We were, like, almost two miles ahead of him when we finished, so I guarantee you we will have won. Guarantee you we will have won. And at least, hey, at least we took this thing out and actually, like, actually did something with it. It felt really good to, like, take it out, do something with it, and, you know, use it for... Wow, we got 45 grand for that? You serious? Holy crap. God, he was waiting right there for us. I know he was. Let's see. Take down four cops. Stay above 62 miles an hour for 10 seconds. Slipstream rate for, for, for four seconds. Win a, win a 300 performance rating event. Oh, live tuning. Oh, oh this is for individual car. All right. Well, here. Let's see. I'll leave that like right there. That feels more natural. That feels way more natural, even after just a little bit of messing with the car. What? No. Oh my god, listen to that gearbox whine! When you start to get going above like 160 miles an hour, it really starts to get loud. Um, I want to do... Something with... That's a 280 race. I never did it before. That Proton race? I never did it before. I'll do it in this car. I'll 100% do it in this car. Bro, get out of the way. Oh, boy. What are you doing? Where's the guy in the... Oh, there he is. He's been following me for, like, a while. Probably gonna come into the event too if I had to guess, but it is kind of cool though how they tied it together with the story and made sense as to why the cops were still chasing you after the story was over and after Mercer was put away because she took over the like the street racing task force. Is this Proton? Yes. All right, let's go. Let's go. I wonder if he's going to... I think he's been starting races at the same time that we have. And so he's like... um, He's literally trying to just like follow every route that we follow. It's kind of funny. Alright. Oh. oh, we got Vipers and stuff in this race? Okay. I didn't even see what our performance rating was. I didn't even bother to take notice of it. So... You know... Alright, come on. We can do this. Oh, that's a cluster. Oh, God. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Bro, oh, my God. Get off. Alright. Easy. Uh oh. No, 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 no. I love how it tells you there's street art nearby in the middle of like a really intense race. And I'm like, I don't really need that right now, but thanks. I suppose if you were, like, super far ahead of everybody, you could kind of just, like, grab it, but... My goal is to make this as fast as the vet. Like, if I can make this as fast as the vet, then we're, like, golden with this car. Because that vet is, like, so OP. It's crazy. I did not mean to plow into him. Is that what that is? That's a vet, too. Okay. Wow, vets seem a little bit, like, a little bit OP in this game. But that's, you know... It, oh, nope, 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 come back here. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We got two more laps. Y'all are not walking away from me in those two more laps. I tried to see who had more nerve there, and I had a little bit too much. Just a little bit too much. Ah! Wow, I literally tried to look at 
my chat, and that happened. But again, you gotta remember that with this game, if you restart, it penalizes you, and it penalizes you hard. So, yeah, don't restart your races, because if you restart your races, you will lose money! I didn't realize that, and then I wondered for a while why I was losing money all over the place, because I was restarting races. The game, I don't know if that's something it just does on hard, or something that it just does no matter what, but I just know that I've always played this game on hard, and I know that it's, uh, that every time I've tried to, like, restart a race, later on down the road, I'll have lost money in the game, so... Be careful of that, if that's something you're like, you know, that's been happening to you, if you've been losing money in the game, it's because you've been restarting races. We might be able to catch him in this last one. Just might be able to. I don't know, but it's worth a shot. Well, we're reeling him in a little bit. Yeah, but I don't know if we're reeling him in enough. The guy in the vet, maybe. The guy in the viper, probably not. Yeah, the guy in the viper's gone. Oh, bruh. Okay, alright. Oh no! Oh, I tried to not drift. I tried to go for like the total grip line and try to make it a little bit faster by doing that. And it uh, kind of screwed me over. We could have won had we not messed up on lap two. Oh uh, yes, Andreas is definitely worth buying. It's actually a really, really, really good game. Like a really, really, really good game. Really, really, really good game. Still got 35 grand for that, which honestly, like, is not bad for ending up in second place. And it's our first race ever in the thing. So, what is this performance level? 310. Wow. All right. So it should be it should be really competitive.